case anybody's listening, this is the Space Boy Temperon 1 telling you that you're one light year from the Temperon system and the planet Temperos. This boy was put here by the kind souls of the Temperos research base who are more than a little concerned that their monthly supply ship doesn't get lost on its way in. See you soon, fellas. In case anybody's listening, this is the Space Boy. Why they can't install a simple bleeping device, I shall never know. It's just a bit of fun, sir. Well, they're not out here for fun. They're supposed to be researching into time travel, not concocting jokey messages to send out into space. Yes, sir. They're wasting vast amounts of government money. Yes, sir. Shall I get back to the boiler room, sir? Yes, Mr. Harlan. You may resume your duties on the engineering deck. Thank you, sir. Oh, and make sure you're there when we need to come out of hyperspace. Yes, sir. There's no discipline in the service these days. I've only got a crew of two and I can't get either of them to stay on the bridge for more than five minutes at a time. Science officer, where are you? I'm in my quarters. Why? Why? You're supposed to be up here once in a while, you know, monitoring galactic phenomena. Look, I know this is your first time on the Delta Temporos run, but I've done it a hundred times before. It's mind-bogglingly routine in every respect. There are no phenomena. What about that distortion on the chronometers? This is an old ship, sir. It's well overdue for servicing. The clocks are always the first to go wrong. Don't worry yourself, Captain. I find your attitude highly unsatisfactory. I shall enter it in the report. That is, of course, your privilege. I shall expect you on the bridge when we come out of hyperspace. Yes, sir. Ock could be out. Now, where was I? Fancy a drink? What? Well, I'm bored stiff. There's nothing to do in the boiler room, and Stripe's been driving me up the wall. This journey seems to be taking forever. Yes. Stride was on at me just now. Sit down. <laughs> Thanks. Here. Thanks. I hear you're a regular on this trip. Yes, for my sins. Actually, I'm quite interested in time travel. But it's a long time since I gave up the idea of pushing forward the boundaries of human knowledge. Now I'm sort of stuck here. So you've never seen the Temporal, then? No. Those legends may have been the inspiration for the time research team on Temporals, but they've got very little to do with reality. Oh. You sound disappointed. Well, I fancy getting a glimpse of it to see if my grandfather was right. He was one of the space mariners, then? Yeah, as a kid I was spellbound by the stories used to tell me. A great beast drifting through space and time. Or inspiring, isn't it? That's what the government thought, too. So they used it to rekindle their much-needed popularity. Humanity takes on the greatest legend of space, solves the mysteries of time. Hmm. Very cynical, aren't we? I'm an eccentric failure. I'm entitled to be cynical. Uh, and yet you stick with this ship? Well, somewhere inside me, I'm still hoping that I'll be in on some time travel breakthrough. Well, here's to the future, then. How far off Tempos are we, by the way? Mm, almost a light year. Funny. This trip seems to be taking a lifetime. And I thought it was just me. I must be getting old. Come in, Ockerby. Stride here. Excuse me, it's the Fuhrer. Don't tell him I'm here. Hello, Captain. What can I do for you? You can get up here right away. What's the matter? All the chronometers have gone dead. What time do they show? Mr. Harlem, what are you doing there? I told you to... Never say... mind that, sir. Uh, just tell me what time. Uh, relative 0156. What are you on about, Harlem? Look at your clock, Ockerby. It's stopped. Uh, Relative 0156. It must be a coincidence, mustn't it? What's going on? Hello? This could be your breakthrough, Ockerby. I don't know. Both of you, get up here immediately. There's something out there in space. 
What do you think? I think we'd better go and see. This is ridiculous. The doctor's been gone for hours now. So much for our holiday on the Cassiopeia. He shouldn't just go around answering so-called distress calls from any old time traveller. Now, Nadia, be fair. He did say he was sure it was a genuine call and that he'd no choice but to, well, commune with it, this other traveller. All the same, I must admit I didn't expect him to just vanish like that. No, neither did I. Admit it, Greg. Something's gone drastically wrong. What's that? Uh, in the time motor. It, it looks like a swollen grave. Not it's here. horrible. Don't you want to find out what's going on? Don't you want to find out what's going That's on? The doctor's Don't you voice. want to find out what's going doctor, on? Can you hear us? Are you all right, Doctor? It's gone. Who is that? It's an old man. Quick, get him a chair. Right. Yes. Uh, are you all right? Where is the doctor? Hi. He went to help you, yeah. didn't he? Here, let's sit him down. There, how are you feeling? Look at the state of his clothes. It's as if he's been wearing them for a hundred years. Greg, his clothes. Yes, you're They're old right. and worn out. But, but they're the doctor's. What? And, it, and, it's, and his face. This, this is the doctor, much older. But it is the doctor. That thing must have done this to him. Poor doctor. He doesn't look too healthy, does he? Doctor? Doctor? Is he all right? He's dead. Sublight speed attained. Ockerby, any sign of that thing on the space scope? No, sir. Are you sure you weren't imagining it? Of course I'm sure. It must have been the temporal. Nobody asked your opinion, Mr. Harlan. By the way, that was a very shaky deceleration you put us through. There was far too much time distortion. And nothing to do with me. Oh, no, of course not. Ockerby, any more on the chronometer situation? No, Captain. None of the ship's clocks are working and they all stopped at the same time. I see. Right. Let's get underway. Mr. Harlan, take us in on the Space Boy signal. Oh, and spare us the pain of having to listen to its message. Yes, sir. The sooner we get to Temperos, the better. Hello? Uh, Captain Stride? What is it, Harlan? There's no signal. What do you mean? The boy must have gone dead. I've got it on visual. There it is. Uh, I'm probing it. Completely dead, sir. Impossible. Well, those batteries are supposed to last for 50,000 years. Mr. Harlan? Yes, sir? Get a spacesuit ready. I'm going to have a look at that boy when we get close enough. I beg your pardon? Well, this is obviously the work of the Temperon, sir. Oh, rubbish. Let's get that suit ready and park us by the boy. So, this is your room, is it? Yes. Not much in it. Well, I didn't bring much with me, did I? Something about you has changed, Nadia. Has it? What's this you've been reading? Universal Linguistics. The Study of Speech Patterns. I can read what I like, can't I? Yes, Nadia. I suppose you can. What What are we going to do? With the Doctor dead, we're going to be stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. Forever. Is he still in the control room? Yes. Well, I didn't, didn't like to disturb him. We'll have to move him, Greg. Come on. You are parked on Space Boy Tempron 1, Captain. Your suit's waiting at the dry cleaners. At the what? He means the oh, I know what he means. In future, Mr. Harlan, you will use strict procedure language at all times. Affirmative, Captain. God, that man's an idiot. Monitor my progress here, Ockerby. I'm going outside. What are we going to do, Nadia? Let's just tackle one problem at a time, Greg. Well, what are we waiting for? Um, after you. Really, Greg? He's gone. Oh, no. That thing's taken him. Never jump to conclusions. Who are you? What have you done with the doctor? 
Well, now, that's, that's a difficult one. What have I done with the doctor? Don't touch those controls. Why not? You don't want to be stuck out here forever, do you? You're the other time traveller, aren't you? You're the one who's killed the doctor. What was that? I'm afraid I know exactly what it is. We're toppling over the edge of a time abyss. I never thought of it as possible, but all the instruments confirm it. Hold on to something. How do you know so much about the TARDIS? Because, Greg, I'm the Doctor. But the Doctor's dead. Well, for a dead man, I'm feeling remarkably well. This is all your fault. Hold on, we're going through a time distortion. You can't be the Doctor. Just shut up and brace yourselves. Hold on, we're going through a time distortion. I'm the doctor who the time and we're going markably time I'm the doctor man I got this time this time time to this I'm the doctor 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 Captain Stride, I'll copy here. Everything all right? Yes, I'm climbing aboard the signal beacon now. Everything looks good. All power cables in place. No, nothing wrong here. There's still no signal. Mr. Harlan, what are you doing on the bridge? You should be with your engines. How did you know where I was, sir? Oh, it's easy. I just assume you disobey my orders. This is Ockerby, Captain. Try examining the battery. I was just about to, thank you. Only trying to help. I know my job. Have you got it? Seems to be corroded. Hang on. That's it. I don't believe it. Is the battery damaged? No, not exactly. It's old. Old? Completely dead. I thought he said they had a 50,000 year lifespan. I did, and they do. Look, Ockerby, I'm coming back to the ship. I think we're levelling out. I feel sick. We're drifting slowly now. Down this time abyss thing? Yes, Nadia. How do you know my name? Well, Nadia, that's... Uh, Don't because... touch me. I wasn't... Something about you has changed, hasn't it? What do you mean? The way you talk. I thought that. Don't listen to him, Greg. He's trying to trick you. But he knew my name too. I realise that this must be very difficult for you. I don't have to listen to you. Greg was right. You killed the Doctor. You set a trap for him. And when he fell for it, thinking you needed help, you, you aged him to death. Whoever needed help is still out there. That's who brought us here, wherever here You're is. You're not the same person. I am. People just don't change. You have, Nadia. What about that linguistics book you were reading? What's that, Greg? Look, I just wanted to forget everything about Homeworld. I'm not there anymore, it doesn't exist anymore, but every time I heard my own voice, it reminded me again. So I decided I had to change it. Change the way I speak. There you are, people do change. Not quite the same thing, though, is it? No, well, I didn't change by choice. You see, our friend out there is a time traveller by genetic design. What? That, that blobby thing? Yes. It didn't understand my inability to traverse time without the protection of the TARDIS. Lucky I'm a Time Lord. Why? Well, because it means I can regenerate the cells of my body. It'll save time and energy if you accept that. Yes, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes, Nadia, I would. Now, don't misunderstand me. I admire an inquiring mind. It's very healthy to... Don't give me that. But, young lady... Don't talk to me like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you must understand that there's a lot at stake here. What are you talking about? Well, I can't remember as much as I'd like to. That's what's so infuriating. But this time creature is mixed up in something catastrophic. I believe we must attempt to help it for its sake and ours. Oh, very noble. You'll have to adjust, Nadia. Why, to suit you. Greg, what do you think? I'll go along with your story. Doctor... You don't look like a blob to me, and since the Doctor's body's gone, I mean, your body's gone, 
Well, there's, there's no other explanation, is there? Oh, yes. Where have you put the body? I put the clothes in the wardrobe when I changed into these. But this is the body. Me. What was that? No. What have you done to the TARDIS? You see, Greg, he sabotaged the TARDIS. The TARDIS power cell is decaying, moving beyond its functional lifetime. The time travel facility is disintegrating. That creature, it must be taking us to the end of time. Say again, this is supply ship Excelsis calling Tempros Research Base. Please acknowledge. Steady as she goes, Mr. Harlan. Yes, sir. Captain, I'm getting no response at all. Well, it looks like we've stumbled across an emergency situation. Tempros always achieved, sir. Thank you, Mr. Harlan. Ockerby, transmit emergency code to Earth Base. Request immediate assistance. Yes, sir. Code transmitted, Captain. No response signal from relay station 5. Damn, the signal won't reach Earth. Whatever got at the Temporal Space Boy has deactivated the relay station. Well, let's not jump to conclusions, Ockerby. Try the base again. Yes, sir. Supply ship Excelsis calling Temporal Engine status, Mr. Harlan. Power fluctuations, sir. Ship, I can't get to space drive for another orbit. Oh, this is unbelievable. It's no good, sir. There's no reply. Harlan, emergency landing stations. Locate research base and get us down there. Harlan? There's no trace of the base, sir. Energy or light emanations at all. Nothing. Refer to memory bank for geo vectors. Put us down where the base should be. Yes, sir. Ockerby, a report, please. Ockerby? The sun. Look at the temporal sun. It's going dark. This TARDIS was supposed to have been good for another 3,000 millennia yet. What's going to happen to us? I'll have to materialise before we're marooned in the vortex. Uh, excuse me, I need to concentrate. Nadia? What? Listen, I understand your scepticism, but can't you just accept him for the time being? I mean, look at him. He's genuinely worried. He does seem a bit upset, doesn't he? I think we're in a lot of trouble, whether we like it or not. Yeah, I know, and he's the only one who can help us. All right, I'll play along with him. Greg, Nadia, hold on. We've landed. Where? Uh, I don't know. We should be able to breathe, though, according to the instruments. Coming, Nadia? Anyway, it's better than here. I see. Right. Let's go. <laughs> It's a bit dark, isn't it? Dying sun, look. This place is dead. I'm inclined to agree. Yes, and we're stuck here, of all the places. Oh, look over there. It's an ancient ruin. But where's he gone now? The doctor? Oh, he's over there. Go on, go and get him. No. Nadia! Total lack of soil nutrients. Nothing's grown here for a long time. Why did it bring us here? <coughs> Perhaps we just drifted off course. Oh, uh, Doctor? Nadia! Hello, what is it? Um, come and have a look over here. Oh, found something interesting, have you? All right, let's go and have a look. Over here, Doctor. Look, it's some sort of ruin, isn't it? Oh, I see. There was life here once, then. A long time ago. Hmm. Well, we've no choice but to investigate. Best feet forward. Hiking was never my favourite pastime. You could always stay here. Not lightly. Oh, quite a climb, wasn't it? Well, here we are. And was it worth it? This is millions of years old. I wonder who built it. Nadia, what do you think? Definitely a technological civilization. 
Look, power-operated doors. I don't expect they'll work now. Then it's just as well so many of the walls have fallen through. Thank you, Greg. Right, let's have a look around. Not a lot to see, though, is there? You really want to cultivate more enthusiasm for the unknown. Is it you? What is it you want? Tell me. The sooner we find out what we're supposed to be doing, the sooner we can get on and do it. Look, if I'm to trust you, you'll have to trust me, Doctor. But I do trust you, Nadia. Come on. Doctor, look over here. Oh, shall we take a look? I'll see what I can find for myself, thank you. Please yourself. What are these markings on the ground here? Let me see. Looks like the remnants of the population. Oh, and I just trod on one of them. I shouldn't worry. They won't feel anything now. It's a long time since anything was alive here. Strange, though. What is? Well, there's no sign of conflict, explosions, war, that sort of thing. And yet there's something... something violent in the way everything happened here. It all looks very old to me. Yes, but... Oh, maybe it's just a feeling. But if you look at these walls, the machinery... somehow it seems that it aged all at once. But these aren't the marks of slow erosion. They're... oh, I don't know. Oh, interesting theory, Doctor. And keep us posted. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Effects of the regeneration, I suppose. I must say I'm feeling distinctly fatigued. Hmm. How's Nadia? Hmm. Still a little wary of me. You mustn't mind her. It's understandable, of course. She's been through a lot of harrowing experiences. And now... Just when she thought she had some security, I pop off, then come back from the dead with a different face, expecting her to welcome me with open arms. She'll come round. I hope so. We'd better go and find her. Doctor? What? Uh, uh, sorry. Are you all right? Yes. Uh, I... If a moment... I... Come on, uh, let's find Nadia. Angle of descent is increasing too quickly, Captain. You must give us more power, Mr. Harlan. The power units are virtually exhausted, sir. I don't understand it. I have a visual fix on some kind of problem. Geo vector 8 oblique C5. That's where the base should be. It can't be. It reads as an ancient ruin, totally collapsed. Mr. Harlan, begin landing procedures. Yes, sir. Picking up life readings. Humanoids. Maybe that's the people behind all this. When we step out onto the planet, we will be armed and ready. Is that really necessary? We are dealing with saboteurs, Ockerby. Ruthless saboteurs. Doctor? Yes, yes, what is it? Is this what you're looking for? Um. Oh, a power source. Uh, is it operational? Hardly likely, is it? The huh. cells have disintegrated. Mm -hmm. In much the same way as the TARDIS cells. Rapid ageing. That happened to you too, Doctor. That's what I was thinking. Not the other time, Traveller. Look up there! A space vessel. In trouble by the looks of it. Try to hold her steady, Mr. Harlan. We need something to cushion our landing. Ockerby, what is our position? We're ten geovectors off target. Why isn't this blasted home responding? It's power assisted, sir. You'll have to switch to manual. Inside the planet's atmosphere, you're mad. Position, Ockerby. Geovector 15 oblique C9. Just put us down, sir. Three minutes of emergency power left, then it's plain sailing. Oh, shut up, Harlan. Land this thing, stride, land it. Descent commencing, crash stations, everyone. I'm 
still alive. Life has its little setbacks, Mr. Harlan. Careful, sir. That was almost a joke. You are already on report, Huckabee. Don't push your luck. Bruised pride? I shan't say where my bruises are. Mr. Harlan, get to the armoury. We need three rifles and power packs on the double. My position as science officer doesn't require me to carry arms. But your captain does. Or do I report insubordination as well, science officer? Haven't you already? I'm surprised. This is an emergency situation, science officer. You will perform the military function according to your rank. I trust you've read the conditions of your service. Pacifism is not one of them. Oh, some pilot. I imagine they were suffering from the same time dislocation which affected the TARDIS. You mean that ship is a time machine? No. Uh, but, but the time disturbance effect has probably... Probably encompassed a, 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 encompassed a, a large spatial, spatial, um, spatial field. Oh dear. Doctor? What's the matter with him? He looks like death. Doctor? Is it the regeneration? Time factor. This isn't the Temporos I remember. In that case, Huckabee will send Harlan to scout on ahead. See if you can climb up those ruins, Harlan. Do I have to? Move, sir. What happened here? It certainly doesn't look like the memory bank images. It's darker. Older. Look, the ground's just powdery and dry. Doctor? Doctor, come on, wake up. The people from that ship, they're coming this way. It's no use. He's out cold. Anyway, those people might be friendly. Yes, but we can't be sure, can we? And where are they now? Oh, look. Only one of them's coming this way. The others have found the TARDIS. What is it, Ockerby? Don't ask me. I've never seen it before. A big container, I suppose. Containing what? I don't know. I'm only guessing. Well, does it pose any kind of danger? How should I? In your opinion, science officer, it is your job to make recommendations. Well, it doesn't look as though it's going to blow up, does it? Non-hostile, right. Let's see how Mr. Harlan is staggering on. I don't like the look of that one. Which one? The closest one. You'll see us any minute now. He's got a gun of some sort, and we're probably in range. Right, let's not hang around. Carry the Doctor over there, behind that bit of wall. We'll see if they're friendly before we show ourselves. Come on, Doctor! Mm -hmm. Anybody there? He's coming this way. Shh! How's the Doctor? Shh! What is it, Harlan? Uh, nothing. I'm a one with a temple on. Doctor! Shh! Quite a climb, isn't it? Anything useful? Nope, nothing much here, really, is there? I don't believe it. Would you care to let us in on your amazement? This is definitely the Tempros research base. What do you mean? This is a pile of old rocks. It's what's left of the base. And can you tell what happened? No. Well, I mean, I, I know it sounds stupid, but it's like we've turned up a few million years too late. Tempron, Tempron, ah! Uh... What the hell was that? The time factor, Greg. You must listen to me, Greg. Right. He seems to be having a time fit. It's a question Who's of there? time. You must Come out where we can see you. Time factor. What's that? What's happening? Time distortion. All of space and time collapsing. What on earth is happening? I, I don't know. It, I, I don't believe it. The TARDIS! Somebody's taking the TARDIS! Doctor, come back! Let's go! How 
see you. Halt! Don't move. My TARDIS, the TARDIS! It's over. The base, it's gone again. The TARDIS is gone. Harlan, cover him. If he moves, shoot. But he isn't armed. Just shut up and do as I say. Yes, sir. Ockerby, what's happened? What was all that? A time disturbance. For a moment we saw things as they should have been. I didn't ask you. One more word and you're dead, Ockerby. I don't know. For all I know, he could be right. Well, it's all over now, whatever it was. A brilliant observation. What do we do? We've got to get away. And leave the doctor. Shh. There's more of them. Come out. Harlan, open fire. They're getting away, sir. Then shoot to kill. No, you can't just gun them down. Do not countermand my orders, Ockerby. They've gone. Thanks to you, Ockerby. They can't hurt us. Don't you see that they did all this? They're the saboteurs. You don't know that. She's right. This is nothing to do with me, and my two friends are quite harmless. If you hadn't started firing at them, we would have all been sitting down to a nice pot of tea by now. I've warned you. You're not going to kill him. Well, I ought to. No. Right now, you're going to give me some answers. Ah, oh, I do so love quizzes. It's all right. I think they've stopped firing. Good. Do you think they've killed the Doctor? So you do accept that he's the Doctor, then? Well, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Look, there's no time for that. What are we going to do? We can't just keep running, can we? Look, I'm trying to be as helpful as possible, but the fact is that I'm suffering from a rather rushed metabolic change. Oh, really? Look, you're either hiding something, or you're very stupid. Well, there's nothing up my sleeve. Oh, I'm not going to waste my time talking to you. Good. Let's see if your friends can tell us anything. Ockerby. Yes, what? Sir. Yes, what, sir? Keep an eye on this one. Harlan and I will bring the others back. Dead or alive. Go on, Harlan. What an extraordinary fellow. How is he going to question them if he shoots them? Don't ask me. He's in a world of his own, Captain Stride. You don't agree with his methods, I take it? He's a military-minded idiot. Hmm, I thought not. Well, Miss Ockerby, I'm the Doctor. Pleased to meet you. Oh, no, pleased to meet you. Do you think I'm a saboteur? Whatever caused all this, it wasn't sabotage. No, I didn't think so either. What's your mission here? Routine. Supply ship for the research base. Research base? Don't you know where you are? Uh, no. We're here entirely by accident, affected by the same distortion that gave you such a rough landing. What kind of distortion? Well, you saw time reverse itself, didn't you? Well, I... You see, something's very seriously wrong with time here. You mean something to do with the research team? I might do. Tell me more. Well, this is Temporos. You must have heard of it. Legendary home of the Temporos. That's it. A fictitious beast that roams through time and space. Not of old mariner's tales, if you ask me. Really? What was this research team up to? Research means time, of course. Of course. Is any of them, Mr. Harlan? No, I think we've lost them. Well, we're not giving up. We've got to get to the bottom of this. Do you know what? What, Mr. Harlan? I reckon I know what all this is about. Oh, yes? Yes, my grandfather had told me all about it. Time reversing and all that. Did he? And what did he say? Well, you see, he used to be a pilot on the old Delta run. Really? Yes, he used to come right through this system. <laughs> the things he used to tell me. About what? The Tempron, of course. Huge, great beast, he said. He used to appear out of nowhere. All the chronometers used to go haywire. Men reckon they saw their lives pass before them. Some even aged to death. Rubbish, Mr. Harlan. Absolute rubbish. Come on. You see, Doctor, here are all chronometers. Stopped dead, I see. Well, what does it mean? Well, at a guess, I'd say that it meant an awful lot of time came rushing by and that these clocks weren't equipped to monitor it. I always said they needed servicing. I don't think any service would put any timepiece in good stead to face up to the passing of several millennia in a few minutes. Is that what happened? That's what happened to my ship, the TARDIS. That blue thing? Yes. Where did it go? I don't know, but it was taken. Well, who took it then? I don't know that either. 
lot of unanswered questions, aren't there? Yes. Let's go outside and wait for the intrepid stride. I do hope he calms down. I think we'd be safe here. I hope so. It's getting darker. If that's possible. Yes. Not a very bright sort of place, is it? I wonder why it's so dark. That's what I keep thinking. I mean, this looks like a dead world. The sun is far too old to support life. Well, I don't see any life here. What about us? We're alive. Only just. But don't you see, if this planet is as old as it looks, the atmosphere would have dissipated long ago. We shouldn't be able to survive out here. What are you trying to say? Sounds as if Stride has found your friends. Oh no, I hope he isn't as violent as he looks. I don't think he'll kill them. I wish I shared your confidence. Doctor, you still haven't told me what's happening here. Well, how should I put it? It seems to me that we're proceeding towards the theoretical end of time. What? It is, of course, just a theory, not one I'd like to put to the test, though. What's that? I think for the first time I'm about to find out. Look at that. It's, it's like a huge brain. What is it? It's the Temperon. Temperon. It him. Yes, yes, I believe it does. Uh, Temperon, I am the Doctor. Yes, uh, why are you here? How? What sort of danger? What can't you resist? You must tell me more. I don't understand. Strike, don't fire. What is that monster? It's that time traveller thing. Shut up, you two. Harlan, open fire. No! <laughs> it's gone. Must have hit it! You fool, you idiots. Do you realise what you've done? Harlan, cover those... <laughs> He's aged. That thing did it to him. Only in self-defense, you blundering idiot. I warn you, Doctor. He, he's dead. What was that thing, Doctor? That, Greg, was the Temperon. Oh, nonsense. Face it, Stride. You're a little out of your intellectual depth. This is a serious problem that can't be solved by guns and shouting, so why don't you just listen? You... He's right, sir. Go on, Doctor. The Temperon isn't our enemy. But something terrible is happening here. Something so devastating that the Temperon, a solitary, calm creature by nature, has taken to dragging travellers across time to help it. And help it to do what? Defeat some terrible force that is threatening time itself. You mean someone's using the Temperon? Yes. But who? I don't have all the answers, Mr. Stride. But welcome back to the human race. At least you're asking intelligent questions. <laughs> Distortion. Put that, that gun, gun down, down, Stride. It's, it's time for you to apologize to the Temeron. Daleks are made of dust. You might have, but I didn't. Which of you is the Doctor? Which of you is the arch enemy of the Daleks? <laughs>
Daleks I might have guessed. You might have, but I didn't. Which of you is the Doctor? Which of you is the arch enemy of the Daleks? Friends of yours, Doctor? I think silence might benefit us all. Speak. Answer. Speak. Which of you is the Doctor? I demand to know what you've done with the research team. Silence! Do you realize this is an act of war? Silence, or you will be exterminated! Can you risk it? After all, he might be the doctor, for all you know. You are the doctor! Really? Can you be sure? We will take them all. Activate time dematerialization. Are you all uh, right? Uh, where? Nadia. Where are we, Doctor? I don't know. Technology sounds familiar. We must be in some kind of Dalek ship. The Daleks have gone. They won't be far away. Oh, my head. Oh, excuse me. I can quite see they're not friendly and all that. But what exactly are the Daleks? Care to explain, Captain Stride? Well, I don't understand. They were supposed to have been defeated. Very unlikely. They surrendered unconditionally. Even more unlikely. It's true. A network of military satellites was put into orbit around Skaro. There hasn't been a peep out of them ever since. Until now, Mr. Stride, well, until now. There's no way they could have left Skaro without being spotted and stopped. The evidence is all around you, Mr. Stride, so let's stop disputing it and get on with stopping them. You know what they're doing, then. I have an idea, Greg. Let's say it's germinating. Something to do with that creature, the Temperon. Undoubtedly, Nadia. But first things first. Just a minute, Doctor. I don't recall handing my command over to you. You've got a lot to answer for. Like, how did we get here? How are we going to get back? And why do the Daleks want you? You do ask a lot of questions, Mr. Stride. They sound fair enough to me, Doctor. I don't pretend to have all the answers. It seems to me that the Daleks are trying to harness time and use it as a weapon. Now, they're already proficient in time travel, but they need help. And it looks as if they're forcing the Temperon to give it to them. It is obvious that this one is the Doctor. He is to be brought to us immediately. What of the others? Exterminate them. Doctor, you idiot! I beg your pardon? Look up there, a video camera. Oh, standard equipment for any Dalek cell. You mean you knew? No, but the very fact that we're all here confirms that the Daleks want me alive. But now they know it's you, what chance have the rest of us got? Uh, there's the rub. Charming. Thanks, Doctor. <sighs> Don't worry, Greg. I shall bargain with them. Remember, I have the advantage. They appear to need me. Well, I'm not sitting around here while you start hobnobbing with Daleks. Well then, Mr. Stride, what do you propose to do? Ockerby and I are still armed. We could break out of here and make a run for it. Hasn't it occurred to you that the reason the Daleks didn't take your guns is that they'd probably have no effect on them anyway? And where are you going to run? There'll be Daleks all over the place. We'll take our chances. And what about the rest of us? We're all in this together. Somebody talk to this man. There is no time to argue, Doctor. He's got a point, Doctor. How do we know the Daleks aren't going to kill us while you're trying to bargain with them? She's right. You certainly can't trust the Daleks. You are the Doctor. How do you do? You will come with me. Can I help you in any way? Open fire. Get that Dalek! Keep away! Keep away! Keep away! Exterminate! Exterminate! You may damage the mounted units. It's moving. Try and blast the plant at the top section. Right. You've got to kill the thing inside. Lovely. Still moving! Unit 5 is under attack. Activate video. Alarm. All units to detention cell. Alarm. Alarm. All units to detention cell. Got it. The hatch off. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
dead. It's disgusting. But it is dead. And what about Ockerby? I can just about walk. Then I suggest we move as fast as we can, since you've committed us to this ludicrous course of action stride. This way, Doctor, we all have a chance. Come on. It's no good. I, I, can't, I can't keep this up. We'll have to stop for a while. But the Daleks will be right behind us. They have destroyed this unit and escaped. They must be recaptured immediately. We need the Doctor if the second phase of the experiment is to be implemented. Do you know, it's only just struck me. What, Huckabee? That this is the Temporos research base. But the Doctor says it's a Dalek ship. That's what I assumed. It certainly sounds like Dalek machinery. But I must admit, the design is a bit unfamiliar. Are you sure about this, Huckabee? I've been to this base a hundred times. I'm positive. When we saw the research centre, it was an old ruin. Fascinating. Quite fascinating. What is, Doctor? It's all a question of time. I think I see what you mean. Daleks! Daleks, they're coming this way. Run, everybody! Huckabee! It's another time disruption. It's the temple, look! Quickly, everyone. Into the time disruption field. I see will kill us. With luck, it will save you. You're going to have to tell me twice. Come along, Okabi. Give me a hand, will you? Well, what about you, Doctor? I must stay here, learn all I can. I'm staying with you. No! Nadia, you idiot. You'll need help. Halt! Do not move! This one is the doctor! Exterminate the girl! No! Kill her and I won't work for you. You will accompany us to Dalek Control! Apply maximum control force! The Temporon must not be allowed to act independently. The Temporon is resisting our power. It is heading for the time zone from which we abducted the Doctor. Bring it back! Bring it back! Now we're back where we started. It's amazing. All those legends, they're true. <laughs> Of Doctor. Save, save now. Thank you for helping us. Save now. Yes, yes we are. Can you tell us what these Daleks are up to? Daleks, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Make me their prisoner. Pain I cannot resist. What, what are they doing? Sounds as though the Daleks got to it. Oh, good riddance. Now then, let's get down to work. Ockerby, get the transmitter working as soon as possible. Temporon now confined to time cell. Strengthen time shield. These escapes must not continue. I obey! Hello, sorry I'm late. Silence! That's no way to treat a business associate, is it? What is the girl doing here? Living, and she'll stay that way if you want me to cooperate. Very well. But if you fail to help us, she will be exterminated. Yes, I know. Well, you needn't sound so casual about it. Let's face it, Ockerby. That transmitter is never going to work. If it's anything like the TARDIS, all its energy cells will be dead. I think you're right, Greg. I've checked out the immediate area. There's no sign of that base we were in. That's because we're in it now. What are you talking about? Well, haven't you heard of the legends? I'm only interested in fact, Ockerby. The Temporon travels through time. We're still in the same place, but several millions of years later, we're at the end of time. Where are we now, then? This is your place of work. There's no place like home. Doctor the TARDIS. 
We have supplied all the necessary equipment. Necessary for what? Observe. The Temperon. Why have you got him caged up like that? The Temperon is dangerous. To you, maybe. Silence! Silence! Apply maximum restraint! I obey! The Temperon is in our power! You didn't have to prove it quite so ruthlessly. Doctor, you can't help them. They're only going to make you experiment on that poor thing. The Doctor has no choice. What do you want me to do? You will isolate and refine the Temperon's ability to travel through time at will. What's the point? Obey without question. But if you just... Obey or your friend will be exterminated. Sorry, Doctor. Not your fault. Very well. We will return at intervals to assess your progress. A guard will remain with you. Obey the Daleks. Obey, obey. What do we do? Get to work quickly. Firstly, we need some answers from the Temperon. With that Dalek standing on guard? That's a good point. And we haven't a hope of overpowering it. We could just get in the TARDIS and go. Of course. Doctor, you're not serious. We can't leave that poor Temperon in the hands of the Daleks. Come on. But, Doctor, I thought you wanted to stop the Daleks. I mean, what sort of no, person no, are you? Dear. Do you think the Daleks would let me have the TARDIS if they thought I was just going to take off with it? Well... No, I don't think so either. Of course, the time cells are exhausted. Don't remind me. Then why are we here? We can talk openly for one thing, and for another we may be able to get the Tempron to appear in the time rotor again. Unit 4 reports that the Doctor and the Humanoid have entered the TARDIS. It will be necessary for him to use machinery from the TARDIS, but he will be unable to escape. He will have to utilize the power source we have provided. Power cell, chronologue, input monitor... Is this the cable you wanted? Uh, yes, Nadia, thank you. Could you attach it to the blue bracket, please? I don't see the point of this, Doctor. When we landed on Tempros... The energy cells were completely decayed. Well, they still are, but the environmental units in the TARDIS aren't affected by time. They're perpetually recharging themselves. Very clever, isn't it? Doctor, that's marvellous. Well, it is only low-level power, but I'm gambling on there being enough residual energy left in the time cells. Ah, yes, we're in luck. I can't understand why it's so important to get the Tempron into the time rotor again. The last time it nearly killed you. That was a complete accident, I believe. You see, the Temperon finds it difficult to comprehend how a creature can live along one time stream. What if it ages you again? I don't think it will. I can't remember for sure. But I think I attempted to explain human beings to it last time we communed. What if it forgets? It hasn't forgotten yet, has it? You see, the Temperon is exerting tremendous power to prevent us all from suffering the effects of time dislocation. Of course. When we were at the ruins of the research base, we were on a dead planet. We shouldn't have been able to survive. That's right. The Templon has given us something like a dimensional cocoon. It protects us in much the same way as the TARDIS when we travel in it through time. So why do you want to contact the Templon again? Quite simply, it's the only being outside the Daleks who knows what the Daleks are up to. With that information, we might at least stand a chance of defeating them. Well, we'd better get on with it, then. My thoughts exactly. Now, what we've got to do is generate a powerful enough time fill to attract the Temperon's attention. He should be able to do the rest. Now, I've rerouted the power circuits, and if I can just make sure that all the connections are safe... Yes, they are. I'll do the concentrating, and you press the button. It's a deal. Power on. Power on. Increase. Increasing. Is it getting through? Shh! But we're running out of power already. All of space and time. Doctor? Doctor? It's gone again. Report! The other humans are still at liberty in the second time zone. Send a squad to capture them. 
they will be useful as additional hostages. Oh, there's got to be a way of sending for help. There'd be no point, even if we could. We're in a time zone far beyond the lifetime of the human race, or at least any of its space empires. Don't be ridiculous. Stride, it's obvious that this Tempron thing can travel around through time. That's why the Daleks have captured it. But why has it brought us here? Maybe it had no choice. I don't know. I'm not the expert. You explain, Ockerby. I'm afraid I don't know either. I can only suggest that the Tempron wanted some help. That's exactly what we need. What's that? (coughs) Daleks! What do you want with us? You will come with us. What have you done with the doctor? The doctor is working for us. Soon he will make us invincible. How? No further questions. Move into the transportation field. All right. No. You two, when I give the word, run for the ship. You... Silence! You will not speak. Stride, I don't regard this as a suicide mission. Now run! Hold! Hold! Do not move! Ockerby, open the ship's door! Quick, Greg, inside! Hurry up, Stride! Get inside, I'll close the door. The humans have taken refuge in the spaceship! Never felt better. And I got one of those pepper pot things. You only damaged it. Your weapons seem pretty ineffectual against the Daleks. Oh, these maybe, but we've got an armory aboard this ship. With grenades and a laser cannon. We'll blast them to pieces if they don't do the same to us first. Oh, keep your pacifist rubbish to yourself. Don't want to damage the morale of the troops, do we? Shut up, Ockerby. Dalek Time Squad calling Dalek Control. Dalek Control receiving. Humans are hiding in Earth vessel Excelsis. We have them surrounded. Advise course of action. Present ultimatum. If they refuse to cooperate, exterminate the spaceship. Understood. Ockerby, I've looked around the ship. We're surrounded by Daleks. Hardly surprising. Stride's still in the armory. What a stupid man he is. It started. Attention! Attention! That was a warning! If necessary, we will destroy the ship! We will give you one minute to surrender! Oh, thank goodness you're back, Doctor. Oh. Oh, yes, so I am. Are you all right? Yes, no ageing effect this time. Good, good. Oh, dear. What's the matter? Did you find out what the Daleks want? I've just remembered. It's worse than I thought. Stride, we haven't any choice but to surrender. I've got the laser cannon set up in the forward viewport. They're hardly going to rush into your range, though, are they? Attention! If I destroy just some of them, their firepower will be reduced. That won't stop. It'll give us time. Time for what? Time to worry about when they'll try and kill us next. We are not surrendering. All right, all right. But we can't stay here, can we? We're a sitting target. Attention! Attention! You have a minute, second. Let me be we open fire. Surrender now. Can you fire that cannon by remote control? No. Why? Well, I thought if we could be ready to get out as soon as your cannon fires, the Daleks might not see us in the confusion. We haven't got time to rig a remote control. No, but I could use the emergency escape hatch by the forward port. They won't be distracted for that long, no. Your time is up! Surrender! Now! Quick, open the porthole. You cannot surrender! Go and get to the laser cannon, and we'll see you in the mountains. Here, take these grenades. Thanks. Oh, an Ockerby. Good luck. Hello, Daleks. We surrender. Don't fire. Come out into the open. We'll be right down. Greg, look, they're gathering round the exit. Damn, is there another way out? That was Stryan's laser gun. He's hit three Daleks. Quick, show me the way to the forward escape hatch. We'll have to get out the same way as Stride. The humans have tricked us! Got 
to get to those rocks. But it's over there. Come on, they're right behind you. Use the grenades. Only just. We're a bunch of heroes. There's no time for that. We've got to get moving. Report. The humans in the second time zone have evaded us again. The time squad are requesting Tron Solar Discs to continue pursuit. Give them the Tron Solar Discs and exterminate the squad leader. Failure. Wow, the information you got from the Tempron, whatever it was, doesn't seem to have made you any more optimistic, does it? No. Yeah. I must confess that I hadn't bargained on the Daleks being quite so ambitious. It's very easy to fall into the trap of seeing them as tin-brained lunatics. The fact is that they're one of the most technologically advanced races in the universe. For sheer ingenuity, they outrank their human opponents every time. But Stride said that the Daleks had lost some intergalactic war and that their planet was surrounded. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if the whole defeat was engineered by the Daleks themselves. But if they're so clever, why do they need you? They don't. Not really. It's the Tempron they need. It's just proving a little hard for them to control. You mean you're here to lull it into a false sense of security? <laughs> and the worst part is there's really nothing else I can do but obey them. And let them win? If I sacrifice myself by disobeying, then they'll certainly win. You still haven't told me what the Daleks want from the Temperon. Oh, no. Look at the scanner. We've got company. The Daleks want to see how much we've done. We'd better go out and look busy. Come on. Doctor! Ah, yes. <laughs> busy goings on in there, you know. Time mechanics is hot work. Tea up, is it? Report your progress. Progress. Now, I've never trusted it myself. People make the most dreadful mistakes in the name of progress. Report. Report, yes. Well, I, that's me, here, the, the doctor, and my wonderful assistant, Nadia, that's her. She's a godsend, you know. Report. That's what I'm doing, reporting. That was the uh, preliminary report, you see. We're here, and uh, you're there. Are you? What progress have you made? Good, good. You're there. We're here. You're there. Good, fine. That's it then, isn't it, really? Well, see you later. Exterminate the gun. Ah, report. I see what you mean. You want to know about the time factor? Have you refined it? My dear fellow, it was only ever crude in your hands. Time travel is the most refined of pastimes. You will answer. Stop messing about, Doctor. I, I will, I, I will answer. Oh, great tin-brained lunatic. Well then, since you need me here to soothe the Temperon into the right frame of mind for inhuman torture... Experimentation! ...with a live subject, it's the same thing. I've had to use a bit of compassion. I don't expect you know what that is, but I can tell you that it takes some time. So, I've been in communication with the Temperon... Communication is forbidden! Really? Never mind, I won't do it again. And the Temperon said to me that he'll give you all the information you want if you turn off the time cage. Unacceptable! You will extract the genetic information we require by force if necessary. Whilst the Temperon remains in the cage. Don't you understand that you can't interfere with your own natures? Goodness knows you're enough of a genetic hotchpotch as it is without conditioning more folly into yourselves. Knowledge of our plan is forbidden. What you're doing is forbidden by morality. Yes, the Temperon moves throughout time with as much ease as you or I travel through air, but it's a peaceful, contented creature. Nobody has the right, least of all you, to ravage time with your paranoid ambitions. It is clear that you have made little progress. When we return, if you have not acquired the information we need to become time creatures, we will exterminate your friend. Petty threats to the last. <laughs> 
petty but effective. So that's what the Daleks are up to. They want to be able to travel through time, like the Temperon. Yes, and for the moment I've got to help them. Well, can't we free the Temperon somehow? I don't know. There must be a way. Well, can't we use this generator that the Daleks... No, the Daleks have been monitoring the output. No, we've got to turn the Daleks' own strength against themselves. Well, they're cleverer and they're ruthless, so we've just got to be cleverer. And use their cruelty. Precisely. This is madness. We've been travelling for miles, but there's nowhere for us to go. She's right, Stride. We're safe, all right, but in the middle of nowhere. But we are safe. Whoopee. Listen, what's that? Look, there's a light in the sky. Could be a rescue ship. I don't know. A little, maybe. Doesn't look very happy to me. No, doesn't, does he? How do you know it's a he? I don't. Nadia, do you remember when the Daleks first tried to stop the temper on communicating with me? Yes. They said something about maximum restraint. It was horrible. I know. It was a sort of beam, wasn't it? Yes, came from over there somewhere. I was just thinking. It must have a power source, mustn't it? But how would we turn it on? Well, we wouldn't have to, would we? The Daleks would do that for us. Look, I'll have to get on with this work to keep the Daleks happy, but could you scout around for that restraint device? What about the guard? Well, he's only here to stop us getting out, I hope. Right, off you go. Excellent. The Doctor is now working for us. What is the girl doing? She is of no consequence. She will be exterminated, along with the doctor, when his work is completed. Psst. Doctor, I found the power source for that restraint device. Good, good, excellent. I think I've recorded enough genetic gobbledygook here for the moment. Now, what I've got to do is reroute the power of the restraint beam so that when the Daleks use it, it will destroy the time cage. But they're bound to be watching you. I know, that's the problem. My little show of defiance has probably made them very wary of me. They didn't seem to mind me wandering about. No, they didn't, did they? Daleks must be the most awful male chauvinists. Doesn't surprise me in the least. Can you reroute the uh, restraint device? Well, I can try, can't I? Go to it, Nadia. We might as well give ourselves up. They'll kill us! They could have destroyed your ship without giving us an ultimatum, you know. It's more likely they were going to use us as hostages to force the Doctor's hand in some way. In that case, I'd prefer to die. Stride, you really are tiresome, aren't you? Shut up, you two, and look out. There are Daleks everywhere. We'll have to move on. They can't cover the whole planet. I don't see why not. I vote we sit tight here and wait. For what? I don't know, but I prefer boredom to death any day. Report! Search for humans continuing in second time zone! No sightings reported. Order two more to engage in search. We will shortly need new hostages if the doctor proves difficult. Assemble experimental squad. Ready them for genetic engineering. We must now proceed to assess the doctor's progress. How's it going, Nadia? I think I've done it, Doctor. Good. And everything is ready. Do you hear me, guard? You can tell your leader that we've done what he wanted. The section leader is already on the way to observe your work. What? Oh, no. What's the matter, Doctor? Well, I won't have enough time to commune with the Tempron again. And it's a little simple-minded unless you commune with it. I'll just have to try shouting. Doc's they're here. Oh, oh uh, hello. Report your progress. Tempron, Tempron, can you hear me? Communication is forbidden. Doctor, Doctor, friend. Yes, yes, I'm your friend. Now, listen. Silence, silence. Now, remember our last chat, do you? Remember, remember. Yes. 
This is hopeless. You will not communicate with the Temperon. Pardon, didn't hear you, sorry. Exterminate the dog. What? No, no, don't do that. Doctor. Doctor. I'm sorry, I won't communicate with the Temperon. Don't kill the girl. Release. Friend, dog. Silence. Maximum restraint. Here we go. Quick, Nardi, into the TARDIS. I obey. safe in here. They don't even know where we are. Look at the scanner. The Tempron's free. But we're stuck here. <coughs> Doctor, the Tempron's back in the time rotor again. Oh, the Tempron is powering the TARDIS. That's wonderful. The Doctor is escaping in the TARDIS. Emergency. Or not? Our time field has been destroyed! The Doctor cannot be reductive! It does not matter! Observe! He has completed the genetic pattern for us! We can proceed with the experiment! Order the search squads in the second time zone to exterminate the humans on sight! Going, Doctor? I don't know. None of the controls are working. Uh, where are we going, Tempron? Doctor. Doctor. Oh dear, he does find verbal communicating rather difficult. Try telepathy. No, that doesn't work. See, the Tempron actually weaves time into communication patterns. It's a wonderful experience to talk with him properly. It takes it out of you, though. Well, ask the Tempron to take us to Greg and the others. Well, he seems a bit busy working the TARDIS to commune with me. Um, we haven't really got any residual energy left to attract his attention. Try shouting. Uh, Tempron? Hello? Oh, this is ridiculous. Go on, you attracted his attention before. Oh, very well. Hello? Oh. Well, I wonder where we are. I'm bored stiff. Shh. What's that? Not another dark machine. I don't believe it. It's the TARDIS. Doctor? Doctor? Greg? Greg, where are you? Come on, you two. This is our way out. Look out, Greg! Exterminate! Oh, look, it's Greg. We'll have to make a run for it. Come on! Take that, you metal morons! Try to get down. Run for it, both of you! I'll cover you. Come on, Greg. Stride's indestructible, or so he thinks. Greg, you made it. Are you all right? I'm fine. Can we just get inside this contraption? What about Stride? Uh, he's been killed. Come on, everyone, inside. Temper on. Doctor, friend, safe. This is amazing, Doctor. Amazing. Did you make all this? Good grief, no. How did you get it working again, Doctor? Oh, I didn't. It's the Tempron who's powering us. So we're still no better off? Apparently not. What about the Daleks? Is it true that you were working for them? Well, yes and no, I think. What do you mean, you think? I'm not... I'm not sure. So... You said that you gave the Daleks a lot of genetic gobbledygook. Yes, I thought I did. But come to think of it, it did come to mind rather easily. Oh, dear. What have you done, Doctor? Well, the Daleks wanted me to help them become creatures like the Tempron, creatures who could travel at will through time, manipulate it, weave it. So can the Tempron do all that? Certainly. Acting under Dalek instructions, it dragged the Temporous research base to the end of time. So that's why all the chronometers went wrong. I imagine your ship was dragged into the time distortion, yes. But what have you done wrong, Doctor? Well, before I put that genetic pattern on record for the Daleks, I'd been communing with the Tempron. Now, my intention was to mislead the Daleks. 
but in the heat of the moment, I fear that all my subconscious knowledge of the Tempron just, well, came out. You mean you gave the Daleks the right pattern? I rather think I did, Nadia. Doctor, you... Idiot? Yes. Doctor? He's gone. And so's the Tempron. The TARDIS has stopped. Where are we? Let's look, shall we? Oh no, we're out in space again. This is how it all started. What's that? I don't know, it's coming from over... Daleks! Appearing out of nowhere. They must have used the Doctor's pattern. We've got to get out of here. We can't. I mean, you can't just walk out of the TARDIS into the middle of outer space, can you? And those Daleks are blocking the way out of the control room. That's that then. Goodbye, Greg. Nadia. Nice to have met you. Ever the optimist, Ockerby. Shut up, you two. Come on, get it over with. <coughs> Doctor, look out, Daleks. <laughs> Don't worry, it's perfectly all right. They can't hurt you. Why not? Because, bless them, they're too old. Too old? Yes, you know, it's true that I accidentally told the Daleks everything I knew about the Tempron. It's just that there's something that I didn't know. Of course! The time dislocation effect that the Tempron protected all of us from. That's right. These Daleks can travel through time at will, but they age accordingly, poor things. Knowing that the first target would be us, the Tempron lured them into the distant future. Now they're so old, they can't even muster the will to travel back in time to save themselves. Rather sad, really, isn't it? They'll be dead soon. Not even Daleks live forever. They're... they're vanishing. Hmm. Old Daleks never die. They just fade away. Time disintegration. What about the other Daleks? I'm afraid they can still travel through time with limited mechanical means. With the help of the Temperon, we've just foiled one of their many evil plans. But they'll be back... They never give up. Still, the good news is... What? Come on, Doctor, tell us. The Tempron has restored the TARDIS time cells. How about that? Then we can have that holiday. That's right. I must say, Nadia, you've cheered up considerably. Well, you must be the Doctor. And what makes you say that? Because a professional saboteur wouldn't make so many mistakes. Thank you. <clears throat> what about me? Oh, Ockerby, how could we forget you? How could we? Well, I haven't, actually. The Tempron has put us on a locked course to one of your Earth relay stations. We'll drop you off there and you can make your own report to the authorities. Report? I've never made a report in my life. That was more in Stride's line of work. Hmm. Right, let's be on our way. Greg, Nadia, I have a feeling that life begins at 750... Um, uh, 700 and... At any rate, I feel that my life has just begun all over again. That sounds ominous. You have been listening to The Time Ravagers, an audio adventure in time and space written by Arthur Wallace. Incidental music composed and created by Graham Woods and Simon Berry. Mm-hmm.